Hello everyone. Welcome to WebGen. In today's video, we are going to create a simple chat application using ASP.NET Core and Angular. We are using the SignalR library here. So as you can see in the screen, this is how we are going to create our chat application. So let us begin. First, we will create the API part. So open Visual Studio and create a new project. So this is a web API project. So I, I am giving the name Chit Chat. When the web API project is created, there will be two files that is the weather forecast controller and the weather forecast class. I am going to delete both these classes. Now create a folder called hubs and create a new class called chat hub in that. So once the class is created, we have to install SignalR library, open NuGet package manager and uh, search for SignalR and install the SignalR, uh, install this package called Microsoft ASP.NET Core.SignalR library and uh, try to install the latest version. The class must in inherit an abstract class hub which is from the uh, SignalR. Now let us create a, a method send message which sends which has two parameters which accepts two parameters user and message. method actually sends the parameter user and message to the client server and we are going to give that a name called receive call this method send message from the controller class before that we have to add this in the startup so let us open our program.cs class and add the endpoints as well as add the signal r SignalR is an open source real time framework with high performances. Actually, we can write hubs with C, C sharp language. And this SignalR comes with a client SDKs for JavaScript, C sharp, and Java. So, it is integrate, easy to integrate many applications using the SignalR real time framework. Also, this can be used to deliver real time and fast experience chat services database update notifications etc so signalr library is used for all of these you, you can use it for uh, fast gaming experience you can use to create a chat so all this can be done using the signalr and we use the signalr framework along with uh, asp.net core web api to create a real time socket connection with the clients so that is what we are going to we are actually creating a, a socket endpoint here so this 
connection we are doing with the clients let us create a folder called dto and create a class message dto and this message dto has two properties user and the message text so from the client we require a post request containing an object of the username and text message so there therefore we are creating a dto here once the dto is created let us create the controller class so let us create a chat controller inside the controllers folder the controller if we need to use a hub from an external place we are using the i hub context interface and we are injecting this through the constructor this hub sends the message to all the clients and invoke the client function with this name which is given uh, as the first parameter in our uh, uh, sent message so uh, we have given receive a message in the hub uh, in our chat hub class so same uh, name we should give in our uh, send request method inside our controller class as well so that is what we are going to do here in our controller class I'm specifying a route uh, and i am specifying a api controller that is uh, so that uh, our application will know that this is the controller and i am creating a send request method which accepts the message dto as a parameter If you are liking my content please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video comment on it and click on the bell notification icon as well so that you will receive all of my future videos we are going to do a lot of projects in our channel so do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with all the coding enthusiasts in your group
so now we have created our controller we have done the coding for our controller now what we are going to do is we have to integrate angular so for that we have to add the cos in our start, uh, startup class now in our program cs class so inside the uh, configure services method that is the builder method let us add the cos so i am adding a, a policy and allowing any method and any header with the origin of uh, uh, my local host in uh, angular that is 4200 and i am uh, adding the app.use course <laughs> as well new angular application so i'm uh, giving the command ng new web chat app and opening the visual studio code now inside that i am creating two folders one is dto and one is a service services folder and uh, inside the dto folder i am creating a class called message dto and in that i am creating two properties user and message text message as string now i am creating a service chat so i am giving the command ng service chat so this is the chat service that is created and once this is done i have to install signalr So first we have to import the functions in the library file and the it is imported as signalr. Next we have to build a connection with the hub. So for that the chat socket connection is added here. connection url we are adding the chat socket url and in the broadcast url we are adding the api url We are using the connection property to start the uh, signal R. So we are using the connection dot on and connection dot start and connection dot on close methods are used here. Connection dot on close function invokes the function passed in when the connection with the server closes and connection dot start is used to start the connection with the server. Connection dot on connection on uh, accepts two parameters. First is the unique name that is given to identify the connection. The method retrieve map object is a method that is used to share the data received from the backend with other components of the object and we have also one more method called broadcast method which acts as dto it is used to call the backend api through an http request that contains the message from the user
and the function start is used to start the connection now environment.ts file with this all and all the urls one is the chat socket url and next is the api urls finally let us create our chat component so that our the ui and the uh, logic has to be added in our chat component so the command to create a component is nggc and chat so this is the html file and inside the html file let us create a card and for for using this card we have to install bootstrap so this is the command to install the bootstrap HTML file we will create a card called a chat box and we will create a class called message box here we are creating an list object and what this what this does is if the uh, if we are the current user then in message otherwise it is uh, external message so we are using two different colors for in and uh, like our message and the another person's message so for that this uh, two classes are defined here and we have the message and the date uh, message and the date also will be printed Let's create one more uh, big division uh, flex row, and here we are creating an input box to uh, write the message. That is to type the message, and there is a button. edit our typescript class of our chat component so inside the constructor i am calling the chat service and what we are going to do here is when a new message arrives it is pushed into an array and displayed in the chat box so we are calling the retrieve map object method of our a service class through the ng on init method So we are pushing the message we give on 
मैसेज इन बॉक्स आ रही using the add to inbox method and once this is done we are calling our send method where uh, if only there are two uh, if both user and the message is there then uh, it will uh, if it one of them is not there then it will display a alert that both the fields are required otherwise it will call the chat service broadcast message and this will send the message via our service so this is the logic for our chat application now let us style our chat application so in the uh, open i am opening the css file and for the message box i am giving a custom width and height so that whenever a, a new message uh, is added the message box width and height will increase automatically and uh, for the card title i am adding a text align sender and uh, giving a font size and for the ud flex row i am adding a padding and a margin and for internal and external messages i am adding uh, two different colors and for the body i am giving a size so this uh, github link is attached in the description box so do, do check it out and do try this chat application if you like my content Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon so that you will receive all of my future videos. Do like, comment and share this video. So we will meet with another interesting video soon. Uh, on top of this chat application, let us add an authentication and user registration as well that we will do in the coming videos. So stay tuned. Happy coding. Bye.